Hello everybody and welcome back to another episode of Timberborn. Now, uh, between uh, last episode and, and before starting this one, I had a bit of a eureka moment. Now, as you know, I've been talking about trying to figure out how to fill this uh, lake in here. And then potentially even going from here. Uh, let's see, where else do you want to go? Or maybe just around... Oh yeah, there was this another lake, which isn't too much of a problem. We could always just uh, hook it up this way. Uh, however, this one would be since since this lake is such a such a massive one, it's gonna take. Um, well, the only option really is to use uh, what are they called? Uh, water pumps and then water dumps to have them lined up uh, along here. But that's just gonna take so much beaver power. So what I was thinking is, I think you've already uh, already seen it. Uh, it. It seems the better solution is to literally just dam it in and force the flow of the water to cross from here all the way to the other side. Now, that is un unfortunate that this is currently the only way, however. Um, it might be the only one. I'm a little bit sad about those bridges over here. We're going to waste some some metal blocks unless we unless we come through here actually we could come from somewhere here still have this magnificent bridge and all the way here although what I'm afraid of is I'm gonna have to build another district here I have a feeling this one is not gonna be able to reach this far uh, before we build those uh, they've already built some okay let's let's try and change this we'll deprioritize uh, let's try and get the bottom ones as well okay there we go actually do the same with those trees since we're not yeah that's the wrong one here we go um, yeah, do want to have this bridge here. I was really excited about this. So how about we... We've got this storage in here as well. So what I'm thinking is, I think I'm going to have to pause this for a second. Um, we're going to have to potentially bring it through here. But then that's going to block the access in this location. We could just bring these back a little bit, I suppose. And then through here. I mean, we're going to have to build another staircase in here anyways. Yeah, this will be better. I don't want to... It's going to take a while to empty this, first of all. I do like it how it's sitting here, to be honest. So I think this will be easier to replace. Plus the bigger storage takes quite a few resources as well. So let's let's put this initial planning in. So it's going to have to be in line. Like so. Okay. Yeah, that's going to take a lot of blocks. Okay. It's going to cut through here. And then that should be fine as well. We're just cutting the access. And it's going to connect from here. Just from the corner. I think this might just work. Actually, yeah. So let's try and do that. Whilst that is happening, um, it is going to block the flow of this water in here. So in anticipation of that, I am going to start putting a few levees in here as well. Just in case we get some really mad flooding. I think, I, I mean, it's, it's bound to happen, isn't it? So you are full now, I believe. Oh, it's raised all the way up here. Okay, that's quite nice. Which means now the water should start flowing this way once again. 
there is another trout coming in, so that will be perfect time to try and build this up. I'm not sure how long the drought is, but maybe if we get lucky enough, um, we might be able to complete some of it. Uh, since we do have a lot of lot of beavers. Oh, and another thing, in the previous episode I also talked about putting some more relaxation areas over here. So, we've got a carousel planned in, and also a couple of more campfires. Since this isn't the priority right now, uh, I think we're going to leave them as they are for the time being. I still have to figure out how to bring power here. And the best way will be to connect it to our main grid. Since we've got a few uh, windmills in here as well. And I think in the future we'll probably replace those with bigger windmills. Uh, right. Let's see, are you guys building this stuff already, or what is what is happening? What are they all doing? Kind of whole day doing something, but I've got absolutely no idea what. Hmm. Any of those? No. Oh, they've built those levees in there. Hold on a second. No, they haven't. Okay, I'm a little lost. I'm not sure what they've been uh, doing this whole time, but um, I, I guess that's okay. So what I'll do now is I'll, I'm just going to remove all these levees in here. Yep, sorry, you're not needed anymore. Okay, and same with them ones. Alright, that also means that I have to move you out of the way, and I think the best location for this is going to be about here. Oh, maybe not. don't think it's gonna reach okay in that case change of plan you guys can stay you're gonna go we'll up the priority a little bit and I think we can uh, now cancel cutting oh, all this down all right uh, where... I'm so confused. Where, where's all our builders? Oh, right. Okay. Um, almost forgot. But uh, we are putting in also... Uh, I, I queued this up just before I started recording. Uh, a whole series of double platforms. Uh, so the plan is to bring the power. I've just noticed the mistake here. Oh yeah, that's not gonna work. Gotta, gotta fix this later. Uh, essentially, is to bring the power across the across the farms over here, all the way up to this plateau. And the the reason why we're doing this is, I want to move all the uh, the grills and uh, the bakery and the grist mill as well uh, to to up here, so that way uh, this plateau could be used just for. Um, processing the uh, tier 2 and 3 food. Uh, so was there... Was this prioritized? Uh, no, it wasn't. Well, they're almost done, so I'll let them complete a few more. Yeah, there's just a couple left, really. Oh... Uh, noticed another thing. It didn't cover up the water. Oh. Okay, just some little mistakes here, but that is okay. I'll fix the rest later, but this is how we want to do it. Okay. Yep, so that way we can still have a little road access here in case we, for some reason, want to put a staircase here or, or, yeah. 
All right. Um, another thing I've just noticed is um, I also queued up the whole bunch of dynamite in here. And the, the reason for that is that um, during some of the droughts, the water that's stored up in this location here is not enough, it seems. So my thinking was that if I deepen this uh, river section over here, that way we'll be able to store up a bit more water uh, during uh, when uh, when we don't have a trout. So by the time the uh, trout comes, we should have plenty of water stored up. So that's what some of the beavers were doing here as well, I believe. Uh, though I don't think they can reach the middle ones. Same with these. Okay, don't have the stairs going down. That should be easy fix if we... We do something like this. Yep. But uh, let's come. If I remember anything else that I did uh, just off camera, I'll uh, I'll be sure to uh, to highlight it. But but for the time being, let's try and focus. Ah, uh, I do remember we need to stop all of these bumps over here, so that way we're not gonna lose the water right away. All right, and let's see, are they starting to focus on this side now? Still no. Okay, I think we'll up the priority a little bit. And this side looks a little bit better as well. We can put in the corner pieces now. And from here, I think we're just gonna do something like that. We'll see how hard we need it. Ah, three high. Okay. I do have to remove these. Couple more levies in place. And this corner too. Alright, we can uh, plunk the caps a little bit later, uh, that's okay for the time being, we'll, we'll see what uh, sort of damage we'll cause with um, this idea over here. Have you turned this staircase? No, you have not. Maybe we'll do that. Get a few beavers on the staircase and it seems uh, this is going better now. Oh, both district beavers are helping out, so that's good. Should have plenty of logs in stock over here as well. And, okay, well, the corner piece is in. Soon they'll be able to cross over. Now I also need to remove trees. Uh, wait up. In this sort of area. Oh, we were too high, that's why. Okay, like so. And actually, just to save a bit of time, I think we're just gonna remove them straight up. Like so. And then we can start building levees all the way up here. I think we are gonna have to put in few dynamites. To bring the uh, bring the level down. And then what we also need is because this connection here is quite important. We're gonna have to shuffle a few things. I don't think we're gonna need this forester right now, so we can get rid of you right away.
then I don't want to block this straight away, but we'll put in view place all, the, all this like this. Get rid of those trees. I think we're going to have to move the pump as well. So we didn't need to delete this pump before. We can put it back over there. And this one can uh, scooch over a little bit as well. Okay, that is starting to look much better. Put a few more in place. And I'm thinking we're going to have to prioritize getting rid of all, all the trees over there. Uh, staircase, is anyone doing that? Let's get a builder here so we can finish off these dynamites over here. Try and get a top-down angle. One more here. These are all in place. Okay. Just a few seconds and then we should have the dynamite in place as well. We got plenty in store. We got a hundred still left and we, uh, two factor is still producing more as we as we speak. Uh, now the final trees we need to get rid of are them ones. And the hauling post. Well, that's going to have to go uh, to... I think... Maybe... I'm trying to figure out how to put the uh, staircase in here. This one's no problem. We can just uh, turn it around and bring it back this way. Are you empty now? You are. Let's get you out of the way. We can have a better look at this. Are they able to reach? They are. Okay, th so that's good. Uh, both districts are fine with water and logs. Do we have any spare beavers here? No, we don't. Here it seems we have 10. So I think as a temporary measurement we might just put in a builder's hut. Like so. Yeah, the more beavers we can get on this, the better. Yeah, it's going to make some of our uh, dams over here obsolete, but that is okay. Uh, if uh, this system is going to reduce our need for for the uh, water pumps and dumps then uh, and beaver power as well, then th that is, that is going to be so much better, honestly. Uh, I, I don't really know how I didn't, didn't realize this before, but uh, yeah. Let's try and prioritize getting rid of those trees there too. Still have a few dynamites in place, but I think what we can do is this side. Nice. This can affect... Yeah, probably should have done this after the drought. I feel it's going to drain the water out from... Hmm, it didn't. Okay. But the other side we'll do, we'll do after the drought. We'll focus on on this area first. Thinking if we need to put in another hauling station. Do we or do we not? It's a good question. What are they all carrying? Scrap metal. Bit of a higher priority. Alright, so that's the height we need. Yeah, it's gonna look ridiculous for sure. But uh, that's okay. At least our dream of filling the other side with water can become true.
Now, when it comes to the staircase, we could have something in here. So... Actually, let me just reshuffle it a little bit. And we don't need a small platform either. Then another stair. Put the roads in straight away as well. And in here we need the double one. Spin you around. Road, staircase, double, and that's pretty perfect. Yep. So that's going to be our road access that we can bring across. Oh, there isn't enough space in there. Uh, but that's all right. We can figure out some temporary measures over here. I do know that we are also going to need... Let's see, how high is this? We're going to need... To block off the flow. Well, not to block off. Uh, we want the ability to, uh, to control. So we could then... Um, once we want are, are, are ready to move the water across... We can block the flow that's going this way towards our, our farms. And so to push all that water across across to the, uh, the new lake location. Now, these haulers over here. Well, we got enough beavers, so... Let's move you over as well. Not the builders, we need the haulers. And come on, give me the the road. Gonna make you this way. Couple more builders in. And we'll make you a high priority. Speed up the time a little bit as well, so we can get those things built much faster. Okay, food, everything else is still fine. Right these ones yeah i think they're gonna need a way to get across from here we're gonna need some let's see some platforms and a staircase going up I always change it later that's that's not a problem uh, this sadly also means we need bit more space here to place some roads and then you're ready okay great and now let's continue just putting in some more levees gonna have to build the middle part actually as well go top down view so we don't need the water uh, to fill that gap in the middle we only need about what is it one two yeah maybe three so we can put a triple flat gate it's gonna have to wait for them to finish a few first Maybe same over here. And with water, we've got a thousand right now. Okay, so let's try and move you over. And for this, I do think we're gonna need... It's still be in the water. Yep, it is. We 
get it built first. And now we can link up this road. We are going to need you as a high priority. This one here, not as important right now. But these levy, uh, levies will be... I suppose the, the bridge system, sorry, the staircase system is quite important to get it up and running as well. So they can take a few um, shortcuts just uh, coming straight up. And yeah, that's going to take quite a bit of time. But um, I hope you do get the, get the idea what I'm trying to go for. Uh, go for over here. So we'll, um, I'll continue off, off camera to uh, get it almost complete uh, because I don't suppose it's uh, it's very interesting to watch Peavers just build this section here. But uh, that's essentially the idea. And we'll be back in the next episode with a slightly uh, more progressed version of this um, this massive dam that we're building. Anyways, thanks again for, for watching and I uh, hope you enjoyed and uh, I also do hope to see you again in the next episode.